On his first Veterans Day in office, President Trump tonight is in Hanoi, Vietnam. At a state dinner, the president praised Vietnam as one of the great miracles of the world. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson visited a Vietnam War prison where American POWs, including Republican Senator John McCain, were beaten and tortured. Mr. Trump, meanwhile, says he received another denial from Vladimir Putin about election meddling. Does he believe it? Here's Margaret Brennan. Presidents Trump and Putin appeared friendly during a two-day economic summit in Vietnam. Later aboard Air Force One, the president told reporters that he asked Putin once again about U.S. election interference. He said he absolutely did not meddle in our election. He did not do what they're saying he did, the president said. I really believe when he tells me that, he means it. Last year, the U.S. intelligence community concluded with confidence that Russia's senior most officials had directed cyber attacks, which targeted the email accounts of top Democrats. It's an honor to be with you. Thank you. Mr. Trump had previously brought it up when the two leaders met at the G20 summit in July. Today, the president called the hacks an artificial Democratic hit job and said it gets in the way. And that's a shame because people will die because of it. The president seemed to be suggesting that Democrats were preventing him from brokering a deal with Putin to end the ongoing war in Syria. Russia remains a patron of dictator Bashar al-Assad. But today, the U.S. and Russia released a joint agreement that sketches out a proposal for a political transition in Syria. We are not going to let the United States be taken advantage of anymore. Mr. Trump left the economic summit in Da Nang without holding any bilateral meetings or brokering any breakthroughs on trade. I will make bilateral trade agreements with any Indo-Pacific nation that wants to be our partner. Eleven other countries, including Canada and Japan, forged ahead without the U.S. to write new terms for the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the largest free trade agreement in history. Mr. Trump pulled out of it shortly after his election. We've been talking about this for a long time. That free trade deal was meant to counter China's economic dominance here in Asia. Vietnam's largest trading partner remains Beijing. Tomorrow, President Trump will discuss how to build U.S. business ties here. Rena? Margaret Brennan traveling with the president. Margaret, thank you.